to. Well, I'm just uh, fast travelling over to Innsbruck to get the next one of these bounties. The end of the last episode was a bit of a pain in the ass with that fucking horse. But uh, we're leaving that area now. This is where I'm actually just fast travelling from. It's immediately after that. <clears throat> just set up a camp. Setting myself over. I quite like how they've done the fast travel ride on the screen. It's quite a nice way of doing it. It's actually the journey. What feels like it's the journey there with it's a random assortment of stills. Who knows? Uh, well, not stills. Mostly, but animated uh, pictures rather than the actual journey from each area. So, um, we've got that one there. But that's to carry on the main mission. I want to pop up here and um, see this debtor. And then we'll head down here. And do this one so we'll see how long that takes in this episode and maybe we'll go do something else afterwards as well but uh for now they're the first two things i definitely want to do seeing as we're over here fucking make it down there right, let's see Won't be in here, will he? Nah, locked. He's going to be down in the mine. He's a miner. All right, there. You got any business at the mine? Now, I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry. I was told he works here. Londonderry? Oh, you want to speak to the foreman? He's down in the pit. Okay. Let's head down into the mine then I guess so he's this way. This way. Mm -hmm. Oh, bit of a drop. Oh there we go. He's there anyway. Arthur London there. Cheer? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> The man's dead. What's wrong with you? Oh, boy. You can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> you might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one to knock him. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I ain't the godforsaken moneylender. Lending money, trying to help people out. They've got to pay the fucking money back, though. Can't not. I get it paid back, can I? Right. Um. Because I didn't come down the right way. I'm not entirely sure. How to get back up there? Can I just? Should he fuck him up? Yeah, he can just climb back up. All right. Okay. This poor woman, she's going to have loads of lenders, but I might as well get my money because other people will be taking it either way. It's all good. Calm down. You need to get over here. Why? I'm just making my way out. Jesus. Right, okay, let's have a little look where the... Um, let's have a little look here. Okay, there she is. Right, let's go get this money because I might as well have it. Someone's going to have it. Offer. So I might as well have it offer. Unless you get the option that... Uh, you can say you've taken the money, you've taken cleaned her out, and therefore one of the debtors don't bother going after her anymore. And then you don't take it, and then I don't take it, you know what I mean? That'd work out quite nicely. Because we don't. I know in the game we need the fucking money, but I really don't. Why have I got red marks following me? Have we got like. Um, Must have been some. Uh... This is the one. Kill him for 
what they done to us. Now, come on. Shit. What the fuck? Right, get the shotgun. Where's my shotgun again? I want to help, man. Where are you? Oh! Bang! Bang! Oh, there he is. <laughs> That tree just saved your life, son. Not that time. Yeah, that worked out well for you, boys. Worked out well. Shit, now he's running myself all over that thing, though. There must be the people we wiped out out of this cave. I would be surprised if we don't have another uh, little run-in with them, you know, at the camp. Maybe the Pilkertons, don't know. Um, no, we're still there. Mrs. London, Derek. <coughs> Off as did. I know. I'm sorry for it. Just we lent Arthur some money, you see, and so it was you. You son of a bitch. What do you want now? You want my boy's shoes? You want the food out of our bellies? What little there is? You want me to lie down for you? No, no. I... Arthur gave everything to pay your bills. Everything. And now there's some fellas coming to take the house. There ain't nothing left, mister! Nah, give him the money. Fuck it, do it, why not? Fuck it. I just it. wanted to say the debt's cancelled and to you know, take this. It won't bring your husband back, I know. You need money and I don't. Why, well, you're a good man. I just wish you'd done it before he worked himself into the grave. But you know, maybe you and your friend that lent him the money could do things differently. Like, not threaten a man. Excuse me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I really am. Ah, it's only $55 as well. Fucking hell. No, I ideal. I know the back of them was a lot of fucking money, but... Strauss ain't gonna be fucking happy with me. But you know what? Not fucking ass. Good tuberculosis ain't gonna be around long. <laughs> so, right. You absolute monster. Right, okay. We're gonna head back down into town now. Uh, I'm gonna go down so it's not too far is it it's over there I, I'll, I'll jump us there anyway there's no point in you following me over give me a second here we go Mike uh, where is he was you followed no was you followed I said no <laughs> okay <laughs> what is your problem what is your problem, partner? You don't, uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And I inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Oh. Maybe time for folks like us is past. We don't need a rat. 
We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, best thing we can do is let the wheat go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us panned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. We need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Micah, but, but he's right, there is a rat, there is a rat, I mean Arthur's been a bit stupid there I think, because there's no way, there's no way they would know where we were, when we were, at the, you know what I mean, we'd have to do, we'd have to rob the bank, and then they'd know it was us, because we're being fucking idiots, and we're very loud, and we make a, a big scene, but for them to know our move the moment we make it, it just it just doesn't it just doesn't fit together for me. No chance. Some oil in that water. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. It's exactly what it fucking looks like as well in the water and water, oil and water. And Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur. And I want out. And he he won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise. And then we're gone. Hmm. Kind of wish I'd listened to him. Let's go down here behind these crates. Thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency, and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. 
you give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your land! <laughs> noise, Arthur! Noise! <laughs> We've got ourselves a ship. Oh shit! Pinkertons! What the hell have you done, Dutch? But with the foxy run jumping in the waterfall, god damn. God damn it, Arthur. Take this bastard down. Jesus, you dodge it. Come on! Mike is going after those papers! Let's find him and get out of here! Yeah, come on, we can take this. I don't know why this, uh... Well, oh, it's playing up a little bit. Oh, okay. I found something interesting. Come on, we gotta move. Shit. Fuck you, Micah. Get a move on, Arthur! Yeah, I'm climbing. Yeah. Stay with me, Arthur. Where? There we go. Let's go. Cornwall men are all over the place. Follow me. Let's see. Oh. We had enough heat on us before. Now we're going to be torched. Catch. This is the only way. You'll see. We should have had that ball. I don't know how to reload, so I have to shoot all my bullets off to be able to reload. I wish I knew. <laughs> I'm sure I'll learn it eventually, mind you. I say that, but if I haven't learned it now, I'm not going to learn it. I'm not. Yeah, just keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Thank God for that. Shoot what? Oh right, okay. Oh why does it keep taking it off? There we go. Yeah, come on, get it loaded. Yes. Come on. We can take the horses from that coach. Let's go. Well, at least we tried talking it out. Boys, lost your minds. Oh, I felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on. All Let's right. go. Let's head for the hills, boys! They're trying to block us off! Go right! Let's do it, let's get out of here. I wish, I wish we had that fucking boat though. Thank you. 
touch, let's go. Oh, shit. Boom. Fucking Micah being the little devil on Dutch's shoulder, fucking getting him to do all this shit. He's a tricky little fuck, and we can't be trusted, I don't think. Micah's still my bet for the rat, that's what I think. Looks out for number one too much. We all okay? Interesting social call. No, oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch. It won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding now. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy. Well, all right, we'll call the horse in. We'll have a little look. Where are we on the map here? And um, do, 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 do. I think what we'll do here is go talk to Strauss and then we'll move up to the top there. So let's have a little ride over. Let's get our horse. Come on, girl. Let's do it. Well, all right. Yep. Go not too far, just down the end of this road. Uh, down this trail, even, should we say? Can we cut across? Maybe, 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 maybe. Alright, let's go talk to Strauss first. Strauss is somewhere over here, isn't he? Still sat on his log. He always manages to find a log that's fallen over. Just outside of camp. Every camp. Hey. Ah, how did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just then. Hmm. Just... Get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Get your bag. Is this it? I don't understand. I ain't gonna kill you. Though I probably should. You disgust me. And you shame us. If we could be shamed any more than we already are, that should do. Go! I don't understand you. What are you doing? Go and get a job! You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was your friend. You and me, we ain't decent. But those folk, they was. Now here, take that. Take that and get lost. I'm leaving. Ha! <laughs> 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 huh. 
<laughs> I like that. Yeah. Ice is on edge. Right, okay, let's go see this guy. Reverend? <coughs> Reverend? You okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Oh, I'm in Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are going to go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're going to get a boat. We're going to get on a river, and we're going to go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, <laughs> New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion and then we disappear we need more commotion one score and one whole hell of a lot of noise we ain't so good at doing scores anymore dutch are you feeling all right arthur sure i'm fine Pardon me for interrupting i brought a friend arthur hello hello dutch this is eagle flies his father is a great chief Charles and I, we uh, pretended to be mercenaries. He did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderland, how do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father has confused wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. Men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, we have to go help these guys. Of course we do. Them and try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. They're all going to get out of hand either way, mate. Oh, the fuck you're kidding. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. You got enough folks coming after us. Without having armies, man. Lizards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this. Right, guys. I know it's a bit of a funny place, but I'm going to leave this to the end of the episode and I'm going to start a new episode with this mission going straight off from here. So I hope you've all enjoyed it. If you have, hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe. Help me grow the channel. I really appreciate it. And otherwise, guys, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.